A controversial resolution that would ban warming fires in the city of Fresno was tabled at today's city council meeting, but many questions remain about exactly how it would be enforced if adopted. What, what I'm looking for is a practical solution to this significant problem of public fires that is consistently applied across the city. Fresno City Council Member Miguel Ari is proposing a resolution Thursday that would ban homeless warming fires citywide. A resolution that calls for Fresno Fire to specifically extinguish open fires found within the city with a goal to improve air quality and reduce the destruction of property. Fresno Fire reports 45% of 2023's fires were homeless related. Council Member Gary Bredefeld agreeing with Arias, he says not doing anything enables more fires and more homelessness. If we turn a blind to this, we're facilitating this ongoing problem and saying it's okay that you're out there uh, living um, in a field or an alley. And frankly, it's not okay. Currently, city code already prohibits all open fires in the city without a permit, excluding cooking fires. But Arias and some believe Fresno Fire has under enforced that law without a defined expectation. Based on a number of complaints that we have been receiving from council districts, residents, and businesses. Um, we also became aware of some inconsistency. Fresno Fire Chief Billy Alcorn Thursday said crews will always attempt to put out any potentially dangerous or toxic fire, but said with a broad current enforcement policy, there is sometimes leniency. Is it near a building? Is it near a car? Is it near a tent? Is it near anything that the fire is going to spread out of that space? And if the answer is no, and they're burning clean wood and it's, it's manageable, they would normally will just let them burn. Another concern by many is the believed exploitation of cooking fires and that some are using those as a loophole. What probably occurs is when that fire engine shows up, they grab a stick and they grab a hot dog and they hold it over there and say it's a cooking fire. If we can just identify what we say is an approved cooking container, it makes it very, very black and white for us. But advocates Thursday calling any increased enforcement inhumane, saying it will only worsen the homeless crisis. Instead, they want increased warming center hours while countering Aria's previous claim fires were unnecessary due to center availability. This is making this problem worse. To say that warming centers make outdoor fires unnecessary is disingenuous. This, in, this winter, the warming centers were open for three days. No vote occurred in the meeting. However, the resolution would be tabled for 30 days to properly describe what enforcement would look like and to better define a cooking fire.